very good. We can hang out for a minute or two or three or four here. Howdy, howdy. Hope you're all having... Oh, I got that face. Ugh. Hope you're all having a good day. We're here to do one last rap extravaganza. Check out the Crunch Rap Supreme. See what sort of Ravnica comes out of it. We've already had some real good ones. I'm going to give it one more roll. I think that'll be fun. But yeah, hope you're all having a good Tuesday. Hello, everybody. So yeah, after tomorrow, I guess as of tomorrow, the format changes to be not Ravnica. It swaps, it swaps over to the Modern Horizons one. And I am... I'm very interested to see how that plays. I think it's going to be a hot mess. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a hot mess. I feel like you, can't, you just can't do 18 in the same pack because, like, oh, oh, God, I'm just imagining 18 cold snap packs. Like, all right, turn two. Um, surging flame targeting you. Um, take 24. Alright, good game. We both shake hands and it's over. Uh, cool. Or, uh, um, you know, I play an Auroch Cub on, like, two. Surging Might. Attack for 24. Shake hands. Um, I'll talk about it now since I'm, you know, I'm a little early, so I want to give people time to get in here. Um, I've talked about Eventide, Triple Eventide as a draft format and how I've done that in the past. The but that's not the most broken format I've ever played. Triple of. I've played a lot of different like like multiple of the stores that I've gone to have done triple small set just because like people want new cards. Like it's a pretty common thing from what I've experienced. I don't know if that's true everywhere, but it was it's been extremely common in my experience. But the most broken draft I've ever done, uh that like a single set was Triple Future Sight. And you might be wondering, like, well, what, 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 what makes... Hold on, Jens. What makes Triple Future Sight so... You know, broken. Well, it's the way that... Virulent Sliver works. So... For those unfamiliar, um, poison is a mechanic. I can go ahead and show this. Um, poison is a mechanic in Magic the Gathering. Uh, but if you're familiar with Infect, you might not be familiar with uh, older um, poison cards. Infect is just you deal poison damage. Um... But the oldest poison mechanic is just, like, on top of damage. Like, you would deal damage and then you put a poison counter on. Virulent Sliver is, um, is a common. It's a one mana 1-1. One, one. It says all slivers have poisonous 1. Uh, poisonous 1 means whenever you deal combat damage, you give uh, that player a poison counter. The stacks very quickly so i remember my deck very specifically i had a limited deck in 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 draft we did triple future site it contained six cards uh I, oh no actually sorry i think it was five cards um i don't think i actually played mountain okay so it contained I believe it was 11 copies of Virulent Sliver, three or four copies of Homing Sliver, another half dozen Thornwield Archer, and like a Sprout Swarm or four. That was the entire deck. And then like 15 Forest. Like it was like 11 or 12 of these. Anyway, most broken deck that I have, most, most absolute busted limited format that I have ever had the chance to play like having this limited deck that's turn one virulent sliver turn two virulent sliver virulent sliver attack for three poison next turn nine poison you're dead whoops so yeah 
Anyway, they changed poisonous to, you know, infect. And while I have problems with infect, this implementation is a lot better than poisonous. Um, anywho, with that, uh, the, good to have story time to start things off here. Well, again, I started a little early, so I didn't want to uh, roll into the draft before people got here. Um... So, yeah, hello, everybody. Hope you're all having a good day. Uh, I've got that sitting around, Verdant Squire. The the um the D and D book for Ravnica is the the the, the mention there. Um, and it, it it's it's sort of useful. I've I've run multiple campaigns in Ravnica in the past before that supplement, and there's like some useful information in there. Not not a lot. I don't want to use everything in it. I just piecemeal it. But, you know, it's, it's nice. Anyway. Um, so, today. Uh, what we're going to be doing is Rav Stravaganza Phantom Supreme Draft. For those not familiar with Supreme Draft. Um, open a pack. You, sorry, you sit down at a table by yourself with 18 packs. You open a pack, you pick two cards, you close the pack, you throw in the garbage. You open pack two, you pick two cards, you close the pack, you throw in the garbage. You repeat this 16 more times, and then build a deck. So, what we've seen is that uh, Extreme Greed seems to be very profitable in Rev Stravaganza. Fixing is plentiful, powerful gold options are plentiful. Um, like, just know to pick your lands. Karus are really powerful, that sort of thing. Um, also, you kind of don't need the, like, anti-aggro options, at least in your main deck. You might need them in the sideboard, but, like, you don't need to be, like, so scared of your opponent curving out and killing you on five because everybody's greedy and playing four or five color mana bases. You can't like, you don't want to prepare for two mana, two, two. You want to prepare for four mana, four, four flyer. You want to prepare for six mana bomb creature. You want to prepare for backbreakers. Um, you're going to have removal. They're going to have removal. Games tend to go, Lengthy. What I kind of want to do, I'm interested in, and this is going to be tough. It, 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 it's only supported in a couple packs. We'll have to see what we get. I want to see if I can have a deck that it isn't like going to be 100% mill cards, but I want to have that option. I want to have, like, if we're going to play long value game, I want to win by th casting one glimpse the unthinkable and waiting. You know, something like that. Or casting one Videlkin Entrancer and having it sit there for a number of turns. Uh, one copy of... Um, Duskholm. So, anywho, let's go ahead and get in here. I think I've chatted up enough. Let's see what we get with this. Um, boop, 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 boop. you're in Rav Stravaganza Supreme. I want this button. Let's hit join. Let's roll. Still got a number of good players in here. Got trophy time. I think we're on, we're on our two. Puts us a little up. All right. Start things off with a couple rares. Um, we get Connive Concoct again. We also get Discover Dispersal. Discover Dispersal is pretty cool. Below the cut is Sworn Companions. Not really worth the choice. Uh, District Guide. Um, nice stuff there. I always like me a District Guide. I'm actually pretty hefty on that card. Just because, like, again, this is a format about, like, powerful maneuvers and powerful mana. Um, I know we played Connive before. Uh... Type of the sizzle, yeah. It's actually a pretty cool card, too. Um, 
Thinking of like District Guide Gateway Plaza would not be unreasonable. Um, I think Connive Concoct is a little too strong to not pick. Uh, I don't care too much for re response resurgence in this format. The card's very good. It's a removal spell plus like a double strike. That's really, really good for being like a double combat. Uh, not double strike the mechanic, but like a attack, attack. Um, discovery dispersal is fine. Um, I think you're you're not wrong that like Gateway Plaza District Guide would open me up to like. Full Monty, the, the the full range of motion here. And that's not unreasonable. I think it is between these two. And um the thing is Kanaev's real good. Like that's 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 real stuff. Um hmm. We already played with it too, is sort of a a side thing. If I pick up the Gateway Plaza, that's just saying five colors real like all of your 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 dreams are true. Maybe that's fine. Maybe we can find more things. Check good art. Concoct rebuying a haymaker was a strong line, indeed. Like just rebuying a seven, rebuying a seven. Um, like that was really good stuff. I don't hate either line here. My problem with the Gateway Plaza is that it interacts poorly with Signets. And Signets tend to be some of your most powerful maneuvers that you have available to yourself. Like, your deck is going to contain two to three Signets, and Gateway Plaza is, like, not the land you want to see with that at all. Um... Check pack order quick. Four Ravnica. How many Dragon's Maze are in here? I'm going to go for it. Dragon Shift. This is one of the, the cards that worked as like a murder everyone. Uh, armed and Dangerous. Oh, boy. Oh, I have some... Memories with armed and dangerous. Um, so armed and dangerous is uh, a card that you could use to just murder the shit out of people in this format. Um, I don't know. It's what that fuse font. It's weird. Um, you didn't really use the dangerous part. You use the armed side because in this format. There are some creatures, like, there's some really good ways to get aggressive with, like, Rebel Belt Maka. Uh, there's a plus five, plus five, and then there's, like, some really other good, just good creatures to throw things on. Um, oh, I never care about this set. Um, Dragon Shift lets me just kind of win on a whim. I do think Gleam of Battle's awful, and I don't think that... That changes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Very disinterested in casting, like, the world's worst glorious anthem. Uh. One clue stone? Is she in a first blade? I'm just gonna take. I know the guild gate I'll play. Yeah, like, this set is just so under-powered. Uh, yeah, they added it for Double Masters, g -Volt, uh, and then made a whole draft format around it. Um, more Burst is actually, like, reasonable. Actually kind of neat pickup. Between, like, Dragon Shift, Morg Burst, Armed, but Armed is a little silly... Um, the maze creatures I just don't care about. Okay, more burst is power on the return for the blast. Um, I could just pick the dragon shift and then win through like dragon shift attack all out. 
It's not the worst. I just don't care about a lot in here. Click that or Morgue Burst. He's on the list. Goblin Test Pilot. Clearly, of course. I'll pick Armed and Dangerous because I like the card. Alright, what do you do, bud? Oh, holy shit. Hi. Howdy. I'll win. I'll, I will absolutely win some games. Thank you very much. Um. Farewell, Shaman. Ah, this is the one that picks up. Yeah, okay. I don't actually hate the gatekeepers and what this deck will be. Like, I think we're going to end up with more gates. I'm not going to pick, you know, like there's a ton of sets that have a ton of gates. Summoner's incredible, and that's just the pick here. We just are able to play the five color and pick the most powerful thing. This thing's fight at random. Yeah, Trista, this works well, too, because the 4-4 uh, the four -four tramples as well. So... I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Gatekeeper. It seems playable. I wish it was the blue Gatekeeper. I like that one a little better. I think that one's just a draw card. I don't... Uh, I don't... Mm, not... Not super. The random on that's kind of killer. I mean, the card's fine. You just have to, like, have control over what's already in play. Pyroworld Shaman would also be like a f fun, aggressive pickup, but. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, yeah, uh huh. Oh, I'm all about Cytoplast Rootkin. Uh, maybe that in the. the signet? Cytoplast Rootkin's the biggie. Um, 1 1 counters on everything with 1 1 counters. You can move counters to Cytoplast Rootkin. This was like the, the cool, the, the big zone. I wish I had uh, art. So, um, Azorius Herald's actually pretty cool. Um, uh, Rectus Signet, obviously, good stuff. Um, no idea. It's 4 4 for 4 that has some additional text, so I feel pretty good about it. I uh, don't hate it for that. Maybe I don't want it because it's two colors, and maybe I want Azorius Herald instead, but. I'm going to assume, until proven otherwise, that cards function. Yeah, we know cards that don't function, and we'll just not pick those. Um, Black Smith is cool. Like me having some Signets. Yeah, this is fine. Again, this might be incorrect because of... Um... Are cards that don't function on Magic Online? You, you have a lot of question marks like that's not a sarcastic comment, Prince Zulala. Um, Magic Online uh, sure is a program. Uh, <laughs> yes, there are cards that do not function on this program. All right. Ooh, Hour of Reckoning, Civic, The Wayfinder, Galvantic, The Ark. Nightmare of the Void, Last Gasp, that's also some real stuff. Just get some more of this going, call it good. That's a Wrath, but Triple White is incredibly hard. I love, th so this card does it all. This card's incredible. This is this card, Demir House Guard, this is a powerful skeleton. This skeleton is uh, super strong, big friend, will help you out in a pinch. Uh, so, Demir House Guard here. Um, this was a constructed playable card. Like, this saw play in constructed. Uh, you might seem incredible to see a 4 mana 2 3 fear with a sacrifice, but, like, you know, there were times where you cast it. A lot of the times you were transmuting it because 4 was, like, where a lot of your uh, most important drops were. Um, 
in black decks, for instance, you know, if you had a one of, I don't know, let's say Nightmare Void, but more more likely it's like you can tutor Corlash, you can tutor uh, Damnation, you can tutor, uh, if you're going back the other direction, you can tutor like Cranal Extraction, you can tutor gift style stuff, you can tutor it. Tutoring is very powerful, the, the ability to search your deck for a card. Uh, and Demir Houseguard hit all the right notes. Uh, there were a couple other cards that on you know that tutored on four, but Demir Houseguard was the one that saw play. Clutch of the Undercity, not as much. So, Arc is playable here. Flight's playable here. Nightmare Void's good. I'd be fine with. Actually, I don't know if I'd be fine with that. But Smash is probably playable. But I'm gonna get some of this uh, stuff to fill things out. Verity Circle. Okay, that thing. Yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right. And below the cut is Watchful Giant. If you needed creatures in the grave, I suppose you could do that. Um, Sphinx's Insight, Azorius Guildgate. Hey, it's, yeah, Trample Liker, Troll Frog. Um... Verity Circle's a May, which makes it nice. I don't know how much I'm going to need the card, though. Um, I like the Gate. Maybe I just like the Sphinx's Insight. Did you play Quench? I've played Quench. I don't know how much I like Quench. Uh, my problem is this deck is going to be playing a lot of tapped lands, and that Quench isn't going to be great. How many colors do I want in this draft? Six. I think it's six. Uh, mainly, I have Civic Wayfinder, District Guide, five-color land, two-color like. I can get away with whatever I feel like. Trollbred Guardian with the Rootkin. It's not bad either. I don't really care about Verity Circle, because, like, I'm not going to be... Who's getting aggressive at my ass, right? Like... I think it's... Trollbred Guardian's big. This thing's actually a house of a threat. Because uh, it's a... 5-5 uh, five, five for 5, that becomes a 7-7 seven, seven real easy. That might actually be reasonable over the Sphinx's Insight. Just because that's huge. What if my deck... Like, it's funny. I have a lot of 5-color in my lands, but the deck is green beat down. I'm like, you know, what if I armed on this and just call it a day? That seems reasonable. Seems fine. Seems okay. Well, the thing is, too, so the way Adapt works, Adapt can re-trigger if there's no 1-1 one, one counters. Cytoplast Root can, can steal 1-1 one, one counters. So you can just, like, play Rootkin, steal them, re-effect, steal them, re-effect, steal them, re-effect, steal them, and just keep rolling. Um, so that's sweet. Oh, Bound Determined! Uh, Bound Determined is... Bleh, that's a card that exists in the game. Um, I, I, I saw this, I thought maybe it was going to be your R&D, which is kind of cool one. Don't pick you. I don't care about that one. This is like Seal of Doom and maybe a Macabre Waltz. Probably a Macabre Waltz. We can probably have that card in our deck and feel good about it. Sack a creature. Uh, pick up X cards from Grave where X is the number of colors that creature was. And then exile this so you can't recur it. Thanks for the bit. Bit. Singular, Charlie. <laughs> um, so, ah. Street Savvy lets you block Landwalkers. Mm-hmm. How real is Guardian of the Guild Pact in this format? Uh, probably real, like, can get by some creatures, but, like, I think every deck we've played against is, like, <laughs> Putrefy, Mortify, all that jazz, and it's just, nope. I'm gonna go with Macabre Waltz. Looks like we got Golgari going on with, like, five-color support in the background. Like, the ability to cast any bombs that we open, but if we're just Golgari, that seems sweet. Yeah, there's a non-basic Landwalker in this set. Um, Dryad Sophisticate. Tasa Karlov. Oh, shit. Ooh, you don't want a win con. Ooh, below the cuts there. Okay, hold on, hold on. This girl loves double die, right? This is Baron. Yeah, this is Baron. Um, creature tokens you control have vigilance lifelink. Eh? <laughs> okay, that's. I think that's what we call overkill, right? 
pretty sure that's what we call overkill. Sadly, Tasa's like not super great this one. I'd rather have either of the other Tasas. Um Grand Sophisticate was yeah. Triad, Ledgewalker. I like Gate Colossus a ton. This card seems like an auto pick for us. If we want to have a creature that's just gonna win the goddamn game for us. Here we go. Pick that, and then like we can also pick up this Gruel Guild Gate and kind of keep things rolling. Um Get us more gates for this Ubalsar Gatekeepers. Uh, get us more fixing. Get a, like, th how many more packs of this do we have? We got one right at the end. One right at the end. All right. That's fine. I think we pick this up now, then. This should be, like, six to five mana. Blood Mage's Binding is fine, but, like, oddly enough, replaceable. We'll have more shots at, like, Pacifism. We're not going to have more shots at Gate Colossus. Ooh! Oh, my, my favorite! Why, thank you! Gonna give me Vulturous Zombie. All right, uh-huh. Oh, uh, this card's neat. Um, the reason this card's neat is that it's creatures from grave into grave from anywhere, uh, which gets neat when you have like uh, mill or discard. It, it, it's like a it, it, it it's a it's a or like an anti uh, torpid moloch. Oh yeah, let's get the torpid moloch. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's also a card opponent's graveyard from anywhere that's not just creature that's just not play that's anything your opponent does action stuff happens your opponent does stuff bad times you know it's it's, it's time to go um shambling shell is not a, too great um i'm not super this was shambling shell was an all-star in uh in draft um it was pretty cool for being like damage on the stack tricks, but like we can't we can't damage on the stack tricks. Like you play it, you deal three, you save your other creature, you dredge it back. So I don't know. Um, this is a card graveyard anywhere. The stack is anywhere, hand is anywhere, deck is anywhere, play is anywhere. Any card is anything. Like, recollect. That seems fine. So, I'm not huge on recollect, but I think it's better than most of the other sh options in here. Like, Thunderstrong Trumpeter just doesn't seem... Great. Our opponent's gonna have a bunch of removal, but that's why we have, like, threats. Also... Uh, works with the Cytoplast. We can have 1-1 one, one counters and kind of steal them, move them around, whatnot. It'll have Trample from this. Feeling good about that. We need a bit more removal um, for this deck. I want to see, like, seeing a Putrefy would be, like, the super best, but, like, I want to see a little more than just this stuff we got going on here. Borborygmos. Okay. Can't say it is like that. Unplayable below the cut. It's easy enough. Crystal Seer, a card that's much better in a different game. Borborygmos is a little brig too Borygmos. Um, honestly, I might pick that Electrolyze here. Um, like the Signet, like the Signet a lot. Um, I don't know. I actually I don't like this Borborygmos as much because like you take a look at this. This is a seven mana six seven Trampler. Um, just not like that's barely above rate, and then it's whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a one one counter on your team. I'm like, <laughs> also, double red, double green is a little harder to stretch. I like the signet though, I'm definitely gonna steal the signet from you. Maybe I do pick that up, but I like electrolyze, I like um, ogre savant repeal, castigate. Um, 
think out of all those, I'd probably just pick the Electrolyze versus out of those. Below the cut is an unplayable five mana three three. Please believe me. <laughs> it's a five mana three three that I think um uh, uh gains flying while enchanted. Is that it? Yeah, gains flying while enchanted. Not the worst card in the pack because Crystal Seer's here, but you know. I also like is it Cronarch? That's a pretty cool one. Uh we don't have a lot for that to have grabbed back, but kinda like having a little bit more here. Let's get this stuff. Sorry, Borberg Mouse. Um, you're not as compelling as your other friend. If I had other Borbergmos, now that would be cool. I'd be all about that. Risk factor ain't it, Chief. Um, this whole pack ain't it, Chief. Well, we have one easy pick. And what are you? Yeah, the <laughs> same Gustav. Sadly, it wants multicolor spells, and our deck's actually quite bad at it. Uh, if you take a look at that, it's um just very bad at multicolored cards at the end of the day. Let's grab that gate. Um Muse Drake perhaps. Hill Giant with no text is not where I wanna be. I don't think Grizzly Bears will where we want to be either, but <laughs> this is not a format for Grizzly Bear. There's nothing else I care about in this pack, though, right? Like, there's just nothing. At least Dissident does something late. Ugh. That's a card I want to cut if we make it that far. Really wish there was just like some sort of removal. Maybe I just picked the worm. I don't hate the worm. I think I like the worm more than I like the dissonant. The worm's not so great. Under silent. Beetle for Mage. Oh, we got some uh, some Gate Likers. Kind of like seeing Gate Likers. We could definitely use some of those. Feral Animist, which is the uh, the the holder for Armed Dangerous. If you're you're trying to do a murder there. Um. Honestly, the Gatekeepers aren't bad for us. Like these could just be some. Like we have a, a nice chunk of gates. And we're going to be probably getting like two more, hopefully, as time rolls. So I wouldn't hate either of these. Um, yeah, that might just be it if I pick both of those up. Render Silence a little too odd. Let's, Beetle Four Mage is good. That's a card we could pick and not feel bad about it. What if we just have some Gatekeepers? Gaining seven in a deck that does nothing after four turns <laughs> seems fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's also green, and green's kind of our main color. Where tear is also good. This is probably a card that actually would be like, hmm, now that I'm thinking about that, that actually might be real. Hold on. Do I want wear tear? Hmm.
You can fuse it and do both sides. That's the power here. It's Shatter plus Demastify. You can do either side and you can bo do both. Alright, let's... Try this, and we can probably even, like, main deck the card, because, like, Signets are gonna be around. Okay, well, that'll be fun. Steam Vents. Gristleback. Gristleback is cool. Rule Signet. Uh, withstand below the cut. Um, Probably fine on, like, Signet Boilerworks. Something like that. Just get a little bit more of that going. Um, feeling a, feeling a lack of removal total in this deck. Again, we got five more holes to fill this in, but... Like, Signet or Boilerworks, just to fully fill this out, we barely have anything. Like, the Boilerworks just lets us cast Electrolyze, and that's not the worst. Um, don't I just don't care about much else of this. Hooligan's cool. Um, red seems like a little too hefty of a splash for me to want it, but it's cool. I, if you're considering not picking the blower works, you're not you're not valuing Karu's high enough. Like I I I. It doesn't matter that we're bouncing gates. Karus are unreasonably strong. There's a reason they've basically never been reprinted. Uh, sadly, uh, in, in standard, I know they've been reprinted in a lot of EH decks. Um, because they're so good. I just, oh, hey, a win con, you say? Huh. Oh my god. Also, look at... I want you to appreciate how clean this text is. Target player mills X, you gain X life. Like, the actual text on this card in printing, by the way, is like... Just... A, oh, by the way, Eye of the Storm. I for, for For those... Somebody must be happy to see Eye of the Storm here. This is the most, like, this is the most ridiculous card that you can start any sort of, like, shenanigan with. But yeah, like, you know, the text of this card was, target player puts the top X cards of the library into the graveyard, and you gain X life, which is so much worse than target player mills X, you gain X. Anyway, grab the Signet. The Signet's on our two main. That seems sweet. Um, other cards in here I like, I like, uh, um, Fangtail, this is the worst card in, like, the block. I want you to appreciate this card for being one of the worst cards in Magic. When you have, like, there's a short list of cards in Magic that are the worst cards ever printed. You know, Wood Elemental, One with Nothing, Chimney Imp. Zephyr Spirit is, like, easy top five worst cards ever printed in Magic. This is an original, this is, yeah. Six mana. Six mana. It bounces when it blocks. If they trample, you lose. That's cool. Um. Yeah, no. You know, if you want an 06, I don't know. There's maybe a little easier ways to get that. Drift of Phantasms was playable. This card's good. You play, uh, four was actually a, a pretty big line for power in this format. You can play this to block anything. Anyway, like, serious, this is one of the worst cards in all of Magic by... Miles, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm happy to have the psychic train. I wanted some sort of win con like that. That answers what I wanted. We can regrowth it, recollect it, I suppose. 
growing ranks populates auger spree and ultimate price fix a couple issues I had with this deck um was a little worried about us and our ability to kill creatures um Golgari Guildgate is um reasonable it could be the pick over either of these two, if we so felt like it. Maybe if I didn't want to actually have the Augur Spree and just wanted to rely on that ultimate price. Wouldn't be the worst. Wouldn't hate that. How are we doing on cards in deck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Doing fine. We have three red signets. Um, how many gates do I have right now? Five? Every gate makes my... <sighs> Probably fine. Oh, this crocodile? Really sweet, by the way. It's a good, good card. Good crocodile. I'm going to go with this. Um, reasoning here is that I do want my gatekeepers on. I want my gate colossus on. I want those cards to be as functional as possible. Grows off! Whoa! It's grows off. Grows off is blue, 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 five, uh, six, sorry, for a nine, nine, nine mana, nine, nine, nine. Comes into play. You may search your library for any number of nine mana CMC cards. Put them in your hand. Any number. Just grab them all. And then it has transmute. You have to pay four to make an attack. This is an old card. This rules. This is an old ruling, ruling card. Search all your nine drops. Sweet. Um, surveilling sprite. Good card. Good card below the cut. Um, where am I at? Seven. It's kind of. Boop, boop. <laughs> yes, I do care more about that. I might care about the Civic Wayfinder. What's the use case for nine drop searching? Uh, cards you want to discard. <laughs> I, I'm serious about the Dusk Mantle, though. Um, we already have a Civic Wayfinder. Got any twos you want to shred memory for? Um, ultimate Price, Waltz. It's not that bad. I like getting more lands going here. We're going to be pretty hefty on those. Looking at this, actually, right now, this is 23. So... You know, adding more in the lands is actually easier than adding less into the lands. <laughs> uh, now that, now that we can pick. Now that we can play Wild Size Below the Cut, Blind Hunter, Glint Eye. fine with those two. Girl Turf is obviously very powerful, but like, having both of these seems fun. Glintai Nephilim can have a, a cool day. What do you think of the Thrill's Bad Removal? Uh, your last two words. Like, 2-2 two -two doesn't seem like a creature that lives. <laughs> Whereas, like, this one has an effect, and this one is very silly and can draw some cards if it connects. And maybe we can, like, double strike it and have a day. I don't know. I think it'll be fun. But yeah, we saw the... Yes, we saw... We didn't see this exact pack because it was nowhere near as good as this one, but... You know. All right. Hey! All right, all right. Okay, all right. I'll take a... Uh-huh. I'll take that. Uh-huh. Mm, Mills 4. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yep. Yep. Mm. Ethereal Absolution, huh? That's, uh, that's pretty good. Makes me feel a little better about our lack of true kill. Um, pick up the Erectus Guildgate. Pick up Wall of Lost Thoughts. Just kind of... Actually, the Sphinx's Insight might be more realistic here. Um, or just that Erectus Guildgate and call it cool. Yeah, 
to gloss that. So, the, yeah, the, 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 the mill with the flyer is going to be pretty funny. Um... Sphinx is inside a kind of... I will want to have a draw too, but at the same time, like... We have six pieces of red fixing and three red spells. Nice. No mountains. Easy. That's easy, then. Hackerbat's a good card. I like Elgarden. It's a fine card. It's one of the cards I'm thinking of picking here. Yeah, flying afterlife will the cup. Um we picked up this Nephilim last pack. Wow, we're actually like a lot of gates. That's nice. Just taking a look at one last, like, 12 creatures. Okay. The wall would have been reasonable, too. Um, hello? I need to make three cuts? Okay. Um, one, two. Sorry, Armed. Armed might be fine, actually, in the deck, now that I'm looking at it. Like, we might be able to, like, throw that on Trollbred Guardian and just kill our opponent. I'll think about it. So, like, Mainboarding Enchantment Hate, I'm not huge on, but Mainboarding Artifact Hate and Enchantment Hate? Like, everybody's gonna have signets, right? Like, that's just... It's gonna blow up a signet. That's gonna be good enough. Uh, Waltz is our only... Is our... Is one of our better recursion tools. I kind of like having that. These games tend to be very, very... Long and about recursion a lot of the times. And who has the longer long game? Or the, the more haymaker long game? Um... The film's probably a reasonable cut here. Have it hang out and cheer us on. Are we a deck that can make use of Arm Dangerous? I'm not sure. we have enough big things that armed is very dangerous with like armed on trollbred guardian is like the game is over same with vulture zombie the game is over like just having it as like a, a win con that way is good enough for me uh with that that means like something down here perhaps on the on the left recollect might have a little worse Re recollect and Walt might be a little overkill I ain't cut that psychic train. That that card's sweet. You know this is whenever any card goes to any grave or your opponent's graveyard from anywhere, right? It's like put X one one counters on your vulture zombie. Sweet. I'm in. 
We also have, hold on, I have armed gate colossus. Why would I want to, okay, I, I kind of like the armed. That'll be fine. Um, maybe the waltz. I like the waltz. They'll probably bring in the waltz. The recollect is kind of doing the same thing in the waltz IMO. Um... I had any other card I don't like over Waltz, I would put that in. But I like everything else I have. All right, now, wow, I'm playing 36 of 33 by 36 picks. Perfect. Um, okay, so. Okay, um, five white cards in that pile. Okay, so five white cards, eight black, nine black, sorry, um, no, that's just eight. Yeah, eight, eight there. Eight here. Blue is two. Red is two, three. What are we red fixing? Guildgate, blue works. Gruel Guildgate. Gateway, signet, signet, signet. Okay, I don't need a mountain in the deck. Blue fixing is boiler works. Guildgate, Guildgate, Gateway Plaza. Maybe. What's white fixing? Gate. Gate. I'll play a planes. Four. Okay, so we're not going to play the mountain. We have so many red sources around. Do I want the island? I think I want the island. I'm also fitting a colorless land into this deck, so... Yeah, like as far as red sources go, it's like here, here... Here, 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 here. Those are all red sources. So. All right, let's go have fun with this. That mana base is beautiful. A plus. We might be a little heavy on mana sources and a little light on card draw. I think that's the biggest weakness we have is that sort of bit actually drawing cards. So, but so we, our cards are haymakers. Yeah. Cutting a signet for like that waltz might not be unreasonable. Let's give it a play. We'll see how it goes, but you're not wrong. Like cutting, cutting down to, to include like either one less signet or one more land would be a reasonable way to go. All right. One color, two color, three color, four color, five color. <laughs> Sweet.
Another Azorius Gate. Okay. Hard to progress. All right. Are we eating this counter? Hey, all right. That's that's fine. You want to counter that? Okay, I've got a lot of other things I kind of want to resolve. Throwing a signet in yard. Okay, I kind of want to draw fourth land here, so I can make uh, brute kin or blind hunter. We have last gasp. Is uh, looks like they're off green. Okay, they found sig signets. They're on green. Hey, how you doing? Who <laughs> needs lands? You get those sooner or later. It's fine. Forest. We can blind hunter next turn. I can actually I can rootkin next turn. Nice. If I draw a land on tap, I can play Trollbred Guardian. That's actually pretty big. Kind of like that. That might be my play. I think it's Rootkin, or if I don't Rootkin, it's Trollbred. Novjin's pretty good. It's a plus one, plus one counter on each creature that entered play this turn on activation for three. You know, two and act, two tap. Ha, 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 you... Oh, you're playing Utopia Sprawl in a uh, hoof. Oh, uh huh. Okay, sure. You know, this is a chance of forest. Just want you to know that. One draw gate. Thanks, Ubalsar. Get the troll bread guardian down. Problem is, we if our opponent plays a haymaker, our answers to it don't exist. So we have to start. I want to start playing haymakers first. That's that's the the. I want to be in that place. Cool, wind drag. With the plus one plus one counter, right? You're gonna make it a three three. Nojin, the heart of progress. Okay, I like Seal of Doom. All right, troll it is, no attacks. <laughs> troll Bread Guardian's gonna be real nice. It can attack for seven next turn very easily, um, if need be. Uh, Cytoplast Root Can with it can start like hyper growth, but because it puts a plus one, plus one counter creature on each other creature with a one one counter, and then you can move them off of here, then you can adapt again, then you can move them off, then you adapt again. It, it makes for an it like this, this value loop, which is nice to have. Sure, Hashing Moss Dog, it is. No, Janet. Probably no Jenna, make it a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, I want untapped land this turn. All 
Oh, I didn't realize that was what I actually wanted, but sure. Yeah, that's actually what I wanted. Hell yeah. That's a two drop. I can cast that and, like, kill the Thrashing Moss Dog or kill their Flyer. Probably kill their flyer, because if I kill this, they just put three counters on Windrake, and that's a little worse. We'll see if, like, maybe they suit something up. I'll be ready for them suiting something up. Actually, maybe I do kill the Moss Dog, because I can seal a Doom. Five? Okay, more, eva more evasion. Yeah, probably just start killing their evasive creatures. Star Fletcher. This is a good card. A little fiddly. I don't like that it's choose a color. This was always a pain in the ass because you'd like forget, especially if you had multiple. And you could easily have multiple. Okay. Hey, empty-handed. I like empty-handed. We can kill our opponent real easily through empty-handed. All right, let's go root can here. So that pumps up the trollbred guardian. Trollbred attacks. Yeah, they might just be playing this as an off-color. Or they needed double green for, like, spell casts. You know, like, Novgen activation. One card in hand there, three life. Hell, I've got Blind Hunter. Like, Blind Hunter kills you from three life pretty easily, actually. Triggers twice and you're dead. So, uh... They already had double green by the time they played the Sprawl, though. The Simic Signet and the Forest were both in play. Like, maybe Novjin. Uh, like, again, that tells me they don't have a real splash for that boil works. Okay. Um, our opponent's a little bit more aggressive than you'd expect, like, in this format. Sophisticate, Battering Crisis, some cards on curve. But four colors? You can't... Whatever, four color aggression, I don't give a shit. I have some trouble understanding hot play lines. Don't worry. It's been 15 years since same. Like, <laughs> it's haunt. Like, what do you... I don't know. Um, haunt... Haunt is... Uh, it's hard to have a more complex mechanic than haunt. There's a reason they... Uh, you know, afterlife and extort happened and they didn't just bring back, you know, <laughs> haunt. So, you know, sometimes you hit it out in one and you get convoke. Sometimes you have to, you know, keep working it or you, you, you're too powerful and you can't bring back dredge. Sometimes you keep trying to, like, make is it do something and you have no clue what to do. And then sometimes you haunt. His hand is capable. I want you to know this hand is actually capable. Thank you, Rot Farm. Yeah. 
Yeah, and district guy. Alright, um, what am I keeping? What am I discarding? Uh, so when you play a Karu on the draw, you have to discard. That's thumbs the rules. Probably the Sunspire Gatekeepers, I don't care about that. Whereas I do care about the Wear Tear. Yeah, I think that's it. Not farm. Bounce a gate. Could buy card I don't really want. Nice. That's something our Ubel Star gatekeepers can deal with in a couple turns. And then they're gonna play it as a boiler works and bounce their you know, island or whatnot. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this. And then District Guide needs to search a blue Myazorius Gate. And then I'll be able to Ethereal Absolution answer this, assuming Ethereal Absolution can resolve. I'm a little scared of like, okay. That's something worth being a little scared of. Damn, that's good. Hmm. So let's go, let's go grab our gate. We have an Azorius gate, right? Azorius gate. Next turn I can play Ubelstar Gatekeepers, take where the, get rid of the Krasis. And like double block threats on the Indrik, and then like Trollbred Guardian can deal with that too. Okay, we're not, we're, things aren't too bad here. Things to be worse. We're taking a little bit of damage. Um, it's fine. Another gate off the top would actually be a good draw. Yeah, we're, we're taking the hits here. Another gate off the top would be okay. I'd accept that and be good with the gatekeeper and be good for gutting me absolution on six. Um, yeah, I want to draw a gate right now. All right, how bad? Is that? What's the damage? Okay, yeah, nothing. The damage is nothing. Sweet. Worst case would be Ubelstar Gatekeepers doesn't resolve. Okay, six land is just as good. I need this Gatekeeper to resolve or I think I'm out of this. Okay. good next turn we can absolution that will fix up the board issue and then everything's sweet from there even got like enchantment destruction if something goes weird i like almost off white i'd really love to get them off white with the wear tear here but i just haven't had a free moment to do it novgen all right that's good card always We've got five mana outside of that to spend. Um, we get an arrogant nephilim here. We just getting like a Zorius flyer. This could just be like a Zorius flyer with a Novgen activation. What's oh, another thing that? Okay, I don't care about that one again. I think the red's not real. Two cards in hand. Okay, and then they're going to Novgen that. Ugh. That's an annoying threat. That's a clock. I'll double block, thanks. All right. Well, let's get the clock down at least.
So what do we want to draw? I can always Psychic Drain to gain some life back. That'll make the clock not as bad. Vulture Zombie plus Psychic Drain could easily just be our win con here. Like to draw, or like just Trollbred Guardian when we start moving in with these Ubalsar Gatekeepers or something. I want to start getting aggressive at our opponent. We need to start, you know, clocking them before Dryad Sophisticate kills us. Obviously. Do they have red? Like, what is this? I just... I don't think that... Nephilim. Give me a Nephilim. Okay. Ooh, that's scary. Ah, hmm. Okay, if that dies, I'll have to exile it. I cannot allow the draw. Okay, empty-handed. I like empty-handed. That's good to see. Um. Well. <laughs> Pass. We've got some removal. We've got last. We've got a number of things we can draw to kill that sophisticate. It's just we have to draw them. You know, <laughs> that's our current issue. Yeah, we just don't have infinite removal like we usually do. Vulturous Zombie. Oh. We got action. I can deal with instant, uh, you know, artifacts and enchantments, so... Take the hit. Okay, fine. You got it, boss. Let's do it again next time. Sure.
Got a lot of pickups out of their yard for, you know, bodies if I need to block flyers. That's not a problem. The pain in the ass is, you know... Yeah, and the pain in the ass is the sophisticate. I just... Need to draw a way to deal with that. Oh, how big is it? Hmm. Okay. Right. That costs five right now. I think I want the zombie on the table because that blocks the flyer. And then next turn, we can like start moving towards big bodies. I need to block the flyer at the mo. If I draw a land next turn, I get both Trollbred, Guardian, and Gate Colossus, no matter the land. Thank goodness that Indric Stomp Power is already used. If they could Indric Stomp Power my Absolution, this would be pretty bad. For real, if we can draw a removal spell for Dryad Sophisticate, I'll feel pretty good. The hell is this? Fireball? You have a fireball? This is a this is a fireball? You have a fireball? Oh, it's just Nimbus Swimmer. Sure. I mean, I say just as though that's like not a oh. How can I live? Gate Colossus. Gate Colossus pass. Active, make a flyer. Take four. And then arm dangerous. Everybody has to block Ubelstar Gatekeeper and they take 18 from the Colossus. Okay. That's our win con. So they'll, they will die. Yeah, I just need two different creatures. This is hilarious. All right, so just don't blow me out here. Um, hopefully Gate Colossus means that you're playing a little safe and you don't push. You do push. I have to chump block with Vulture as Zombie, which sucks. All right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this doesn't trample? Oh, I just... Sorry. My mind auto-corrected this to being, um... That was a bad block. My, my mind auto-corrected this to just being Hydroid Crisis. 
It's not. But it's what my mind did. Play your last card, please. Would love your last card to be in play. Yeah, that block was horrible. Obviously. Um, cool. Don't care. Oh, thank goodness. Right. <laughs> so, fuse. What? Which creature is this? Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. God. I have to flip a coin? Assume left to right? All right. Oh, God, I hate this. All right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'll flip the coin. I hate this. Do not like having to flip a coin for my, uh, for my activation here. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. Y'all saying it's the most obvious thing in the world. <laughs> Kind of ain't. Sorry, boss. Ten. Ten. Crunched. Cool. Okay. I want you to know, the reason I love Armed and Dangerous so much, much is that right there. This card is, is theft outright. This card is all about just, hmm, wow, this sure is a game I'm losing super hard. Anyway, take 20. Um, things probably would have been a little better had I not, uh, made some horrible blocks there. We probably could have improved things a lot, but I just, my mind, like, auto-corrected Nimbus Switter, Swimmer to Hydrate Crisis. i keep this. Right, Simic Flyers just have Trample, all of them. Like uh, the 3-1 the and the 3-3, three, three, and Simic Sky Swallower. Ah, oh, God! Mm. Huzzah, you're right. If only we had taken the ability to block Landwalkers. We saw it, we, we messed up there. That's, that, that's clearly a mistake. I, I, I'm glad we got away with it, but oof, that could have been so much worse. Like hilarious looking. Here's some garbage. I don't know. Blind Hunter is like the most fiddly card in the universe, but it gets the job done immediately. Whereas like Kingpin, if you top decks Kingpin's pet and your opponent's at two, you just kind of get sad. Like you don't ever want that. You know, if you drop deck blind hunter and your opponent two, you know, hey, you drop deck kingpin's pet. It's like, all right, six turns later. <laughs> anyway, here's my Naya deck. <laughs> it's fine. 
Okay, Gate Colossus down to six. I got Blind Hunter. I got Seal of Doom. I can cast everything but Psychic Drain in the hand. I can kill a Signet, which I will do. Where I won't do? All right. Mm -mm. You. Shrug? I don't know. You want to kill it? Now's our best time. There's nothing to play. It doesn't get to haunt anything. No better time than right now, this second, to kill it. Keening Banshee, please. Ooh, Star Fletcher. Are you fixing for red or white? Or do you want double green? So this is this is the oldest t tales oldest time right here. These two mortal enemies fighting. Perfect. I like that draw a lot. Um, let's go grab. I don't know, some gate. The targeting yourself thing is funny because if your opponent has like a an ivory mask, you had to target yourself, and then you know you wouldn't do anything. Oh, well, you know what we grab? Grab the best one, then, right? Okay, four cards in hand on both sides. We've got Colossus, which is ready and raring to go. This is a threat that just keeps coming back because whenever you play a gate, it goes on top of your deck. Um, the chosen color is green. Nothing? Hmm. I don't know, the beat down. Shrug? You gotta counter this, right? Or kill it. Like this ain't resolving, right? <laughs> I guess I kind of need to kill the Star Fletcher. Oh, what? The beatdown? What the hell's happening? What in blazes? Oh my god, you're playing a one drop? What?
classic Sultai card, a one mana two two. You know, you beat down with Solana Star Fletcher to get your one mana two two. Easiest play of my life. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess it can block Gate Colossus. I can't block you. Anyway, here's Gate Colossus. I have no idea how you can, how you can build, like, building a scab clan mauler deck in this format sounds impossible. Like, look at our mana base and how many one drops we can play, right? Like. And costs? <laughs> They can't bounce get Colossus because it costs infinity. Yo, tell me about your deck. You have to tell me. You have to tell me everything about your deck. You should concede in response to this spell. All right, let's find out. Last Gasp, Golgari Guildgate, Simic, Seal of Doom, Sphinx of Foresight. I don't think I learned anything. I don't think I learned anything. Sure. Okay, put our opponent to two. No, that's the same pit skulk. They bounced it with repeal. I'm holding the gate in case we draw a kill spell for our own gate colossus. Okay. So it's Fingers Foresight. Seal of Doom, Last Gasp, they have removal, but they're also like this, like, I don't know what this is, like. <laughs> anyway, um, our sideboard's three cards still, so that probably doesn't change. Um, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's literally our... Oh, okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good now. Let's get back in. I'm already assuming every single opponent is on six kill spells, so... Shrug. F. Do, do, do you have it, Guts? The Guts. I really wish that Civic Wayfinder was a 
We're on the draw, by the way, which is why I'm keeping this. Oh my god, it's a sphinx of annoying bullshit. Ah. Scry, the beginning of your first upkeep. Yep, uh huh. It's the sphinx of game actions. Three of bottom. The hell were you looking for? Anyway, our deck has 21 mana sources. Four signet, 17 lands. So that Civic Wayfinder is 19 and 30. It is, you know, so much. Oh boy, they're going to turn three. Uh... Okay. Hmm. Play this down in case we draw ultimate price. Would like to draw an untapped land. Oh, they don't have it. Holy fuck. Now this was this was a vintage card. Um, go grab our island? Yeah. Because it being blocked never happened at Vintage. I'm going to grab our forest instead. We have the Gateway Plaza. Don't play the Gateway Plaza, by the way. So this was the first... This is the moment where Gateway Plaza was the most awkward land in the world. We, we couldn't make it. They missed their third land drop, by the way. After Scry 3. They'll get there. But just so you're aware, they did miss their third land drop after three Scries. Are they going to kill my Civic Wayfinder? Uh huh. Goodbye, Obel Sar Gatekeepers. Want to draw last gasp? Oh, that's funny. Um, My current plan is deal lethal damage. You figured it out, Burnett. <laughs> This is actually going to be really easy.
I'll pass on the graph. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Get in! Okay, so they're going to, um... They're gonna go ahead and play, uh... Paralyzing Grasp on this. And then we're gonna have a couple turns of, like, awkwardly sitting around doing nothing, and then, like, we're gonna do it again, and they're gonna die. This one's pretty straightforward. Anyway, yeah, that's the, this was my plan the entire time before the last gasp. I was going to play that, play the Gateway Plaza, and then next turn we were going to do the exact same thing and kill them. <laughs> oh, you still think you're the aggro. That's cute. That's very cute. Paralyzing Grasp? Uh-huh. You got it, boss. I'm going to wait. If they attack and don't do anything, I can just kill them by recollecting and killing them. If we don't, I can play Vulture Zombie and maybe that can do it. We have a turn or two for it. I didn't regrowth in case I need to regrowth last gasp for some reason. Five cards in hand, huh? Bet it all. The zombie likely, if basically, if the I feel like if the attack won't resolve, my zombie and everything else won't resolve either, right? Like, that's my feeling here, is that if, if my combo fails, like, 
nothing like even if I play Vulture Zombie, they have you know repeal for five anyway. I think we go for it, and if it, if we die, we die, right? Like. Stop me. It is on you to stop me. Okay, we're past Giga Drows. Here's lethal damage. They got something. Aether? There's repeal. Okay. Again, if I had gone Vulture Zombie, repeal stops that as well. Hell of a curse. Um, need to draw Seal of Doom? I think we just need to draw Seal of Doom. Seal of Doom to kill that, and then specific Wayfinder to go find another land, get like a blue source down or something, start moving in. If I don't draw either, I have to Psychic Drain for four just to buy another turn. Which we can do. I love the power of Armed Dangerous. Oh my god, it's a one mana 2-2! Two, two. Ah, I'm so boned! Yeah, that definitely kills me, but now I can see four more cards out of your deck. Give me them. Hold on. Electrolyze in the Seal of Doom? Electrolyze in the Seal of Doom. Hold on. I can... Don't make the play that, like, straight loses it when there is a, a line to win still available. Here we go, everybody. Stealing my card draw. All right. Our opponent is vintage. The opponent. Uh, we can we can concede now. Um, jokes on them. That's literally the only card in our deck that draws. I don't hate the waltz here anymore. I like my psychic drain. I'm keeping it. I like it. I like my dumb combo. I refuse. Oh, 
Alright. Alright, what would I like to play first? Sounds awkward. It has last gasp, which is very nice because our opponent showed us, you know, they have like the mage marks aggression. And we can stop that. Electrolyze is also good for that. I think so. Oh, absolutely, Luke. If I didn't have the last. The last gasp has to do too much lifting here. We draw another gate, we get a really huge board, though. I like that. Alright, give me another gate here. Okay, most expensive... Sorry, second most expensive card in my deck. Not what I wanted there. All right. The guilty pay the price. The guilty pay the price. Cool. All right. Got it! Hmm. Okay. So, if they draw a land, they can... I don't want them to have a land here. I want to be able to just hit that Soraform hybrid with Electrolyze, and then that, like, answers the rest of the problems, and then we're kind of like, okay. Okay, looks like we're okay. Yeah, this is fine. Let's electrolyze that. They can't repeal it. They can't essence capture. And we get a gate. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're coming back into it. Tristani Summoner is going to be the card that, you know, turns the corner. Let's go get that going. I like continuing to build my mana base. Get the best. Okay, they did not have the, the, the aggressive start to kick our ass, to punish us. So now, now that they didn't have the aggressive start to kick our ass, to punish us, we get to start doing this. That feels nice. Notion Thief on step. Sorry, boss. This card doesn't do anything anymore. This is the only card draw on our entire deck. We electrolyze the hybrid. We last cast the cut purse. Okay.
That's pretty good on summon plus raise dead. Get in there. If they got the mage mark, things start looking pretty bad next turn. I think the gatekeepers just has a pile of bodies on the ground. Oh, never mind. This might still be the gatekeepers. This right here. This is how we win games, Luke. Yeah, we played a land. I played the planes and then... God, if they have Stomp Howler, they get us here, right? Is that the... I'm going to do this. Next turn, we can try to District plus Sunspire, or District plus Blind Hunter, and then, like, ride that to victory. This is annoying. I'm probably getting rid of the Troll, because the Troll sucks against Celadum. Like, this is the card they're just going to seal it to him, so, like, I don't care about it. If I can resolve Summoner, the game's over. The problem is they've shown counter spells, so I want to be, like, I want to try and play around those if possible. Because Summoner's that powerful. And we already used our waltz. And by that, I mean we discarded it. Sunspire Gatekeeper's like a fake summoner, so. We also have Ethereal Absolution activations to, you know, for a few. There's some bodies. Okay, cool. <laughs> my play didn't mean Jack. I mean, sorry, my, my other play wouldn't have meant Jack. Like, trying to put down a bunch of blockers on that. Alright. Discard the troll. The power of Seal of Doom is that makes our arm dangerous. Kind of bad. Hmm. I think I just go grab a forest here. Do I want blind hunter? Actually? Or do I just want the Sunspire gatekeepers to get the biggest board out right now? Gatekeepers is nine power immediately. We're going to discard Cytoplast Rootkin. This is some danger mode, ain't it? <laughs> I love this. Okay, so... Obvious attacks, obvious, you know, actions... 
do that first because you know clearly it ups your your, your information. Let's go to the Rukin. If they don't have double blue up, I'll just play Tristani Summoner. Wear and tear them in combat. That would work. Wear tear, killing the signet, killing the mage mark. Tristani Summoner is our play if they basically, you know, if, if they don't have double blue up is my line. If they keep double blue up, I won't summon her into that. But if they use their blue, then I don't care. All right, they gotta go. <laughs> yeah, that was nothing. It's nothing. It's a four-four Viggy and Hydropon. Nothing against the grapefruits. Uh, they're just not very useful right now. You know, we're uh. Sort of putting pressure on our opponent. Time. If you sink and pay for one, uh, that'll be very powerful. I didn't play the swamp because I want to discard it to cut burst so that next turn can be blind hunter plus da arm dangerous, by the way. I can't play around quench, so I'm not thinking about it. But I can play around essence capture, which is a card we saw. Essence capture costs blue, blue, I'm not happening. Again, the reason I made this play. Positively, absolutely would not have made this play if that was what was going to happen. Kind of want to see that Seal of Doom popped. Perfect. Beautiful. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Five cards in hand. Can they get three more damage? Can they get enough damage to kill me here? That's the question. Can you kill me? Do you have lethal damage in your pocket? If we can move around those Vigian Hydropon counters, maybe. It's pro blue, but that ain't enough to do anything about our board. It's all green and white. Okay, I can't block Cupper, so that's going to hit me. I go to five. Happy about that. If they didn't, you know, Fido burst it. That would have been funny if they Fido burst it and then hit me for game. Get out of your swamp. Can we have some Guild Mage? Can't do it. Huh? Yeah, indeed. All right, main two. Sure. Thank God. Oh, thank God. I was kind of worried about the possibility that uh, Aether Eyes exists, but now I'm not. So, armed. You.
I don't want to fuse because I want to be able to uh, blind Hunter post combat because repeal is a possibility here. I'm not playing around repeal by trying to put it on here because I just don't do it. Um, even if they have repeal, like they still have to contend with 12 damage coming in, lose a lot of their board, and then we blind Hunter. So I'm, I'm trying to play so that the blind Hunter post can get us a little bit more. That's why no fuse. We've got to wrath most of their board and to not, you know, die here if they do have it. And then we'll get a blind hunter, so. If they do have, there's, basically there's no point in playing around the repeal because I don't have two non-token um, attackers. All right. Uh-huh. So, you know that part where I mentioned about Blind Hunter being pretty important here? Just just thought I'd mention that again. Where I, I thought, I don't know, this, this could be like an important thing to have. Yeah. They played it as well as they could. Like, they survived the combat. This would give them another attack another turn, maybe to draw something like Aetherize, get out of this. Maybe some pump to get this over, move the counters off the Hydropon. Are you going to make me wait the two minutes? They might. I have to admit, this is better than Kingsmith's bet. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's return to data. Third match, and then we'll move over to Xenoblade after that. Glad for the graft. Always smart. Smart moves. The fact that they took 30 seconds and let it resolve means that they were just annoyed and just that that happens like, ah, damn it. And then putting the out, doing the graph that, that there's, there's nothing there. They didn't like time us out. That's, that is not what occurred. I was afraid that was what was going to occur, but it was not what occurred. All right. The finals. Can our greed jalopy continue? 100%. The greed jalopy is unstoppable. Nothing can defeat it. Keep. Sorry, want you the beat down? Oh my god! Oh no. Hmm. Shit. Well, we have Electrolyze. That's really good. The beatdown isn't real. It can't hurt you. The beatdown. <laughs> Boros Recruit isn't real. All right, show it to me. No, come on. You're not the... This isn't the beatdown. There's no Sky Knight Legionnaire. Boo. Come on. Okay, that's a cool one. I'm going to admit my mistake. I kind of flubbed that one. 
I was supposed to tap. I was supposed to leave the green down because I want the green in play so that this is an option next turn. And then I can play the gate. Just as a... that That's the reasoning behind that one, by the way. Because if I were to have bounced the forest, I would not have this 4-4 as an option next turn. And the 4-4 actually just looks like the best thing to put down on the board by, uh, like, a mile. Yeah, 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 okay. And hold on, hold, oh god, oh god. Alright, and then Erecto Signet to this, and then this, and then we play this. Then we get to Gateway Plaza. Okay. All right. And there, here comes Sky Knight Legionnaire 1. Show me it. Show me the Sky Knight Legionnaire. You gotta have it. It's illegal for you to not have it right now. This might be fine as Gain X Life. Against this opponent, I feel like it might be a little better to remove that, but. I'll block Keening Apparition if an attack happens, because it's a lot more likely that, um. How many Sky Knight Legionnaires would you play in a limited deck? Pretty good. Alright, I will block the this, because, like, if they have Helix, they won for one. If they don't have Helix, they, like... It's 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 harder to say. Like Helix is the biggest one, right? They might have a plus two plus two first strike. There's there's a lot of different tricks that exist. Helix is the most common one in my mind, and like that would be really bad if they had that. So we're just gonna do this and see what the trick is. If it's just plus two plus two rally. See, yeah, okay. Exactly what have happened. Perfect. That's not Helix, but it's effectively Helix, then we would have lost our thing for a one for one. So. Ah, dangerous zombie. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Are you ready for dangerous zombie? I know I am. Come on, don't have a war lead. You know what? That's fine. That's really good. That's super good. We have a way to kill that in the deck. Like, uh, we, you know, that doesn't stop, it stops activated abilities, but that's a triggered ability, so we can just roll with it. Everything's fine. Okay, let's, um, let's get it big. All right, what's up? God, they're the beatdown, y'all. The beatdown is real. Look at all these common one mana one ones they picked. Alright, we got removal spell, removal spell, and the way we win the game. 
I like that one of our removal spells draws. If they play a second one toughness creature, I'll feel pretty strong. Oh my god. It's Tajik, everybody. Prevent all non combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. Good to know. Tajik can get off the goddamn table. Tajik's very powerful. Other. Yeah, I'll take that one. It's an okay draw. I'm not going to last gas this because at this point the only thing that matters is evasive creatures. Like Fire Main Angel. Oh, or that. Nah, you're 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 good. I don't want that in play. Thank you very much. Anyway. A board occurs. Tristani Summoner is just the most ridiculous card. Uncommon. Uncommon. Oh no, Mistral Charger. Uh, it was real. Alright. You know what? You know what it's time to do? Armed and dangerous is red and green. Anyway, it's a 5-5 double striker that has to be blocked by all creatures you control. So, enjoy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Show me a grab the reins. Clearly. Do it. All right, on to the board. The beatdown. Oh, God, I don't think we have any sideboard for the beatdown, seeing as our sideboard is a four-color 2-2, two -two, a biggie, and this. Um, so the cards that beat them are, like, right here. This format has a, a number of, like, wraths. They're not direct. They're a little more sidesteppy. Um, 
they either have like larger color color requirements or aren't like for the most like generic rafts that exist. You have a couple generic ones in like Kaya's and Supreme Verdict, but those are again color requirements: blue, blue, uh, blue, white, white, or black, black, white, white, respectively. I mean, not respectively. I might have said them in the opposite order. Anyway, but then you have things like culling, or you have. Uh, what was it Culling Sun, Merciless Eviction, um, Solar Flare, Solar Blaze, Solar TN does the move. That was a good armed and dangerous. Okay. We got colors. Thunder could definitely have a definite clarion. Sure, that's another one as well. They might just lifelink their team. This card we haven't drawn yet. This is the first game we've drawn Dusk Mantle. Okay, mold the six. Hopefully our uh Oh my god, frenzied goblin, no. They've got the beat down again, so you got to be worried about that sort of thing. There's a two on time. Let's go ahead and play the Signet next turn. We can ultimate price. If I can get a large enough body down and then, like, arm dangerous it, we might be able to get out of here. I'm worried about Tajik. Tajik next turn would be a se incoming seven. Probably the best play they have. And th this thing, like, has to target. That's why that took a little bit of time, because even if there's no... It doesn't say, like, defending player, it just is, like, creature. So, like, it has to target your own thing. Um... Sure. I like having all these gates. It means that our gatekeepers are live on draw. I think I might kill the Frenzy Goblin. That actually might be the larger threat here. Because the Frenzy Goblin actually means that I can't draw a blocker. And that's a bit of it, like, you know, that could be, yeah, right here, see? Like, I'd, I'd play this five, and then nothing, right? Like, whereas now I'll play this five, and then they have to face fetters it. I think they have it. They've missed a lot of, they have a lot of, I think they have a fetters in hand. Like, the thing is that they had three cards in hand and didn't make a four drop. That tells me that their hand is a reactive hand, not an aggressive hand. Which gives me a little bit of time. Yeah, like I said, that was a that was a pretty 100% play in my mind. Um, okay. Maybe a stream of life is what we need. I kind of need another creature. I'm scared of got Blaze Commando coming down, but if they're just gonna attack me for two, I'm not. It's not so bad. Holy shit! No, do you respect our opponent now?
doing that to prevent a, a blood rush. If they blood rush to save it, that would feel pretty bad. Anyway. Looking at some sort of blood rush here. Perhaps. Keep milling them. Get you for eight. And then I'm just gonna, um, stream a life. This is why I love this card, by the way. In the aggro matchups, it's Stream of Life. In the control matchups, it's Millex. Uh, Scion of Vitugazi. Calbadiers, Tajik. All right, all that looking good, looking good. <laughs> Fire your dome. Helix, my dome? Were you one off killing me? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I think we were one off of death, huh? <laughs> Time to arm a gate, Colossus. Cannot be blocked by creature's power two or less. It's the end. And that is the 3060 again. I think. No, do we lose a game to? Uh, no, sorry, wasn't 3060. We lost to the the scalp the the cut purse. I think in one of those. So close. Ah, <sighs> well, that was sweet. How many games is Darm Dangerous win? Oh yeah. Ooh, here's a different Tesa. Now, this is the Tesa I'd play. Check out this Tesa. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, destroy it. Make a 1 1 flyer. Also, pro creatures. Also, vigilance. Now, that's Tesa. Some feather plants. Thriving Isle and a thriving... Okay, sure. All right. Well, anyway, that is... Uh, that's been magic. That's been Ravnica. So that is the end of Ravnica. Today is the last day of it. It disappears with uh, maintenance tomorrow morning. Um, as you can see, it says ends 9-2. Um, we'll be back with Modern Horizons when that does flicker. So, <laughs> excellent there. But yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and swap over to Xenoblade. Uh, I know that's uh, much less of you stick around for that. So thank you for joining for this. Hope you all had a fun time for Magic. Uh, 
And if you want to know when I am going live with this or any of the other things, the specific things that I do that you do want to see, you can always follow, have on the notifications and such, see when I go live. You can subscribe and get the cool skulls and slimes. Um, I'm told September is going on, but I'm also told it's like 20 arcane rules, like 13 riddles of Dracula's Manor to, to know if you can get $2 off of a sub or something like that. So if you can solve that riddle, um, that's cool. But if not, I understand. I wouldn't either. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and swap on over to Xenoblade. I will see you on the other side uh, of the, the quick flicker. But glad that you all had a fun time here. Um, this deck was just some sort of incredible. All of our decks have been like pretty goddamn silly for this format, not going to lie. Um, so yeah, all right. We're going to flicker it. See you on the other side.